for all the work you do, get it to me or email it to the school by that date and then we can send it off to the British Science Week Society and we can submit your answers and hopefully win some prizes. So we've got three learning objectives today and the third one in particular is the one we're going to send off. So good luck with this. So let's start with the first one. Here are two examples for you. Pause the video for me and what I'd like you to do is I'll give you two keywords to start you off. Can you try and aim for five qualities that you think a scientific poster has? And what I'd like you to do is try and write it in four sentences for me. So the first one, you could say a good scientific poster has a range of colours and clear information. So that would be a really good point. So try and aim for about five for me, please. Pause the video, have a go. If you are struggling, here are some more keywords to help you. So remember, we're aiming for five good qualities. All right, well done for having a go at that. Let's move on to the next one. This time we're going on to poor qualities. So I want you to think about what might not be a good thing to have on a poster. So again, I'll give you two examples. Maybe it's cramped and there's too much information on it. Maybe it's boring. Maybe it's just one picture with a couple of words. So again, try and put those into four sentences and aim for five. If you've been struggling, there's some more examples there for you guys. So please try and aim for five on that. All right, what I need you guys to do now, again, you can do this in your books, but if you prefer, you can do it on paper, um, maybe A4, if you want a bit bigger, maybe A3 paper. It doesn't have to be white, it can be any color you want. And I want you to now try and create a scientific poster. So the topic has to be innovating for the future, but it's totally up to you what you want to do. So for example, you might want to look at how we're going to grow plants in the future to feed people. So that's a picture of vertical growing towers. You might want to think about energy. So how are we going to create energy in the future? You might even want to look at robots and how robots can help us. Maybe you want to look at computers. So as long as it's on the topic innovating for the future, guys, it is totally up to you. Best of luck. Remember, deadline 14th of March.